Hey family, welcome back to the channel once again where I'm hosting and you're co-hosting Deb Chanel's 48th World featuring the family affair. Yes, honey, Candy is out right mad in them social media streets. She had to post, honey, and U.S. Weekly caught it for us, all right? Yep, they caught her in the act. They did a little story on her. Yes, the story was brought out by Marissa uh, Petra Caria. Oh, Petra Oka, a care, whatever. We're going to call her MP, but her name is, her first name is Marissa. Okay, she has a titled article called Candy Burris Calls Out Real Housewives of Atlanta Co-Stars for Posting Filtered Makeup Free Selfies. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Okay, now why she just couldn't just post something and go, oh, but see, like I said, Candy just throwing shit. She's a little shit starter. And when somebody asks her to do something, she does follow protocol and do just that. And then when she see the other ladies um, in Brazil, she gets mad and want to call a spade a spade. But technically, you should have just waited, Candy, until everybody posted. And then you could have posted you a little feel to one. But you was giving us, by following directions, your real looks without makeup. Okay? But anyway, her story goes on to read... Uh, challenge accepted. This is something Eva Marcel had put out on her social media program or her platform and everybody follows suit, even though they're still waiting on a few other people because I didn't see um, Tanya do it, Marlo do it, Kenya do it. So it just is what it is. Okay, but it says challenge accepted. The cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta flooded social media with makeup free selfies on Thursday, April 2nd. Thanks to the one and only Eva Marcel. But Candy Burris had something to say about that authenticity. Okay. Biggest Real Housewives of Atlanta feuds. Oh, okay. Well, that's something else. But anyway, it says here's how it all went down. Marcel took her Instagram feed on Wednesday, April 1st to propose a self-care challenge for 3.8 million Instagram followers and her Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars. The Ricky Smiles show, uh, morning show co-hosted shared a video explaining that the purpose of the challenge is to ditch makeup for as long as possible while self-quarantining at home during a coronavirus outbreak. In the accompanying caption, she wrote, Good morning and happy Wednesday. Why don't you all join me in my new challenge? It's called the No Makeup Wash Face Challenge. The point of the challenge is to ignite the confidence in you. Okay. She continued, no long, she continued, no need for filters and makeup and enhancement to be beautiful. All right, Marcel then nominated every single housewife on Atlanta, plus friends, Tanya Sams, Gail Yovana, what is that, Monosupler, whatever, and Marlo Hampton. Happy watching, ladies, she added. Let's see those pores. Boris, almost. I'm sorry, Burris, among several other Real Housewives of Atlanta stars, participated in the challenge. But she was very quick to call out her co-stars for altering their photos. The 43-year-old captioned her messy bun selfie. My hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta girls doing no makeup challenge with lash extensions, fillers, and filters. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. She can tell you, I'm looking tired as fuck with these dark circles, no makeup, no lashes, hair ain't done, nails fucked up, this quarantine beer shit ain't for me. Teaching school, cleaning, cooking all day. I can't take it. This can't be life. Well, Candy Burris, that's most of life for most Americans. Why are you trying to dog it and ditch it? Guess what? You're playing the housewife, the mother, the caregiver, <sighs> the, uh, what do you call it? The mediator, the referee, all that good stuff. All right. Welcome back to the real world. Okay. I know you had your what, servants and, and nannies and all this other carefree things that you spend your money on. But guess what? See, money came by everything. When they say sit your ass in the house, that's pretty much what they meant because you're in the entertainment world. Nothing is going on unless you're at home trying to do it. 
So therefore, welcome back to the real world, Canterbury's. Embrace it, baby. This may be your new look, your new life. You just never know. I know, I got to fix though. <laughs> my daughter picking at my hair, y'all. Uh, you should have saw it last night. That's when I did it when Mama worried me crazy. No. <laughs> I look like buckwheat, y'all. I look like buckwheat. Do you know somebody by the name Latanya Rucker? Mm-hmm. She picked at my hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was like, Mama, what's wrong? Yeah, that's a girl I went to high school with. What's she died of? What's she died of? Hmm. Hmm. She's 52. She dead. What happened to her? Bless her heart. Okay, I'm doing my video. Can you update me? All right, so a girl I went to high school with. I really weren't really close with her, but I knew of her. So, um, mm, died. Mm, okay, we'll follow up with that. Okay, but anyway, since the Atlanta-based ladies aren't the only ones documenting their self-quarantine experience or longing, reflecting on life before the crisis, New York's Ramona Singer hilariously documented herself cleaning the floors of her Florida home while Lisa Rayner shared a sexy throwback photo in an army green bikini. Uh, and it just tells us to keep scrolling. They have one picture of Eva Marcel. Um, it says, the former America Next Top Model winner, sharing her makeup free video with her IG followers. Clearly, she's not saying goodbye to the eyelash extension. So, see, again, I told you, Eva just fake, fraudulent, and full of shit. Um, And she just, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't care for Eva because, like I said, she just lie, 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 lie like a rug all day, every day. Okay? And don't be clean half the time. All right. Then you have a photo of Nene Leakes. Okay? Y'all, I shared all these fitty, um, pictures through the video frame that y'all are looking at that they're actually talking about. The TV personality proved that abandoning her complexion products was no problem. And next time she wants the challenge to be a body positive one, she captioned her pretty pic. If you know me, you know i am always been a skin girl. And even Marcel, next time, it's, it's uh, let's show our bodies. Nene, I don't think we need to see that. And again, I, I think you're wearing eyelashes as well. Uh, it may be a little one. Well, and you're still wearing makeup if it's not because you're using mascara to bring out those uh, eyelashes of yours. And I'm right with Ken. I think you put some makeup on or you use the filter because you're usually kind of dark around your eyes. So you didn't do right either. So moving on from there, we have two failed people. That's Nene and um, Eva Marcel. And Eva Marcel threw the challenge out there and she's sitting up there got lashes on. Okay. Now, the next photo is, is of Cynthia Balin. It says, Skin Goes. The model got personal about her image in this caption of this stunning pic. She wrote, Now, let me keep it 100. Facetune is my friend. I'm 53 years old. always been very transparent about my age, and I am very secure in my looks. However, y'all know, y'all can be a very, very critical on the ground. So, with that said, I'm not mad at a little tuning or a filter in the spirit of embracing my natural beauty. I did not use anything in this photo. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, you might have toned it down a little bit because those little blotches, they would have been popping out there like candies. But okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Moving on to Candy Burris. Um, let me see. I don't know, Candy, like you got a little something on. If it ain't nothing but some moisturizer or whatever, honey, we want to see everything. But those dark circles on the dark, the, the top of your eye and the underneath your eye, it shows a lot, okay? And that's one of your um, little flaws or little um, insecurities you have. And I, I quite concur with you because I have the same thing going on with myself. But I just wear it, honey. I wear it as it is because I'm not really a makeup person. Uh, but when I do put on makeup, it definitely makes me look lots and lots better. But, hey, I like what how I was born with. I very seldom wear lipstick, and I used to wear lipstick a lot. I don't know. It just seems like I'm very concerned about everything they say is paraben-free, and then it turns out not to be paraben-free. And, you know, you're not supposed to have your makeup for like a year and then you're supposed to toss it and buy new makeup. I think it's every six months to a year, especially if you're using it all the time. 
and then if you say you got infected with your eyes or whatever like conjunctivitis or some something you know whatnot uh you got to throw the whole makeup line that you were using away because it could have been like you know contain contaminated with something and then with this new coronavirus out there when they're telling us to wash everything you know what if you went back in your makeup while trying to touch up or something you might got coronavirus in your makeup now it's just too much you know what i'm saying just a fresh washed face maybe some moisturizer for keep the dryness out and that's pretty much it but anyway going with candy picture it says the singer threw some shade at her co-stars in her makeup free selfie she captioned the photo my real housewives of Atlanta girls doing that no makeup challenge with lash extensions fillers and filters i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all she can continued and look tired as fuck with those dark circles no makeup no lashes hair ain't done nails fucked up this quarantine bullshit ain't for me teaching school cleaning and cooking all day i can't take it this can't be life okay and then we got uh your well yvonne gail monoplosor she's showcasing her vibrant makeup free skin the uh stop the traffic foundation founder captioned her selfie uh, challenge accepted even myself sterling wash face challenge show us what you you got no makeup no filters face tune etc showcase your natural giving god-given beauty okay let's look at her okay okay i don't know i thought she had some some i think she did a little uh filtering too because i do see some um what do you call those uh poor no, blackheads so little bumps acne bumps but they're kind of like filtered out where you can't actually really see them you know so all of them fake foolery fraudulent uh females going on here except for like i said it seemed like candy had a little tone down and stuff but she she was definitely seeing well i think it's because candy have dark circles on her eyes other than that she probably would have been uh okay because she seemed like she used a little moisturizer well maybe not on the lips i, I don't know i don't know because candy's dark anyway so embrace your darkness baby you're very beautiful um and you definitely can conceal those dark insecurities around your eyes and on the top of your lids other than that you're pretty cynthia's pretty i mean of course you know nene did her little thing she ain't gonna actually show you shit on that thing um and eva yeah she got them eyelashes going on i'm like we wanted to see just you eva okay just you baby but you couldn't even do that shit right and it was your own challenge girl go get out of here okay but y'all tell me what y'all thought about this interesting um what we call it fresh beauty face that god gave you without any aesthetics added to it <laughs> okay but I tell you the truth, all of them fake fruit and fraudulently uh, with fuckery going on because some of them had stuff done to their face. So it's like, what are you talking about? You want our God-given face? Well, we don't have that because we altered our skin uh, complexions as well as we broke some bones and recontoured and all this type of thing. You want us to give you what we got right now, 100? Then that's what your challenge should have been. But it just is what it is okay yes it is, is what it is so y'all get down in the comments y'all tell me what y'all thought about this particular uh subject matter video of this tag going on of somewhat of a challenge what do y'all believe was it really get them giving their truth and speaking their truth or they just try to show the best pick they could because they know people gonna be in now saying "Ooh, this that and the third and all of it's gonna be negative but yet they can't handle it i thought they all had thick skin okay nobody can hurt you with things that they say unless you really got close to them or you really don't have thick skin okay just is what it is but can it call definitely nene out as well as uh eva marcel <laughs> <laughs> that's what she do that's what she do honey but y'all get in them comments y'all comment tell me what y'all thought about don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i'll see you fabulous people uh later on for another video bye-bye or see you later i should say